postulates of special theory of relativity so first one all physical laws are same in all inertial reference frames all physical laws are all physical laws are same in all inertial reference reference frames so here postulates of special theory of relativity all physical laws are same in all inertial reference frames the second important one is the light velocity the light velocity is same same in all inertial reference frames frames and and is constant and is constant these are the postulates of special theory of relativity okay so now let us see where the galilean transformations are failed so we know that all the newton laws are invariant under galilean transformations but what happened few fundamentals of electricity magnetism are not invariant they are changing from one reference frame to another reference frame already have seen mass length time acceleration are relative okay so now the velocity of light when we are moving from one reference frame to the another reference frame velocity of light is changing according to galilean transformations we know that uh, we got here c dash is equal to c minus v velocity of light with respect to s dash frame is equal to c minus v this is the velocity with respect to s so here our aim is to make the light velocity is invariant our aim is to make the light velocity is invariant so to make the light velocity is invariant we have to use one more transformation equation that is called lorentz transformation equations lorentz transformation equations here galilean transformation equations are applicable for the bodies which are having the velocity less than the light velocity now so if you come the velocity of particle is equal to the light velocity where the galilean transformation equations are failed to explain the to motion of the particle now let us see the different transformation equations they are lorentz transformation equations lorentz transformation equations so here let us see lorentz transformation equation here let us take two reference frames one is s frame another one is s dash frame here the origins can be taken as o o dash s dash frame and s frame okay 
so this is what x dash here it is x and here we have to take y z and y dash z dash here i am taking a point p at which an event takes place an event takes place at point p now so event observed by the observer o dash in s dash frame is so we know that uh, transformation equations uh, where x dash is directly proportional to according to transformation equations x dash is directly proportional to x minus vt so this is what with respect to s dash frame x dash is directly proportional to x minus vt and uh, similarly x with respect to s frame x is directly proportional to x is directly proportional to x dash plus vt dash x dash plus vt dash now remove the proportionality we will get x dash equal to k into x minus vt and similarly if you remove the proportional here also we will get x equal to k into x dash plus vt dash ok so now let us assume here now let us assume here let at t equal to t dash equal to 0 at t equal to t dash equal to 0 so at that time what happened here s and s dash frames are coincide with each other are coincide with each other now light source is placed at common origin at o what i am doing i am putting a light source at common origin o after time t after time t source velocity is v initially what i am doing i am putting the light source at o after t time so source velocity can be taken as v in s dash frame that is the velocity of s dash frame now the flash seen by the observer in s and s dash frames can be see there what i am taking i am putting the flashlight here initially both are coincide with each other so after t time what happened the velocity of this s dash frame can be taken as v velocity of s dash frame can be taken as v so here so after t t time flash seen by the observer in s and s dash frame s and s dash frame can be taken as see there x equal to ct x equal to ct and x dash is equal to ct dash remember here we have to assume here we have to assume this is equation 1 and this is what equation 2 here see flash observed by the observer in s frame in s frame how much distance it travel x equal to ct here flash observed by the observer in s dash frame can be written as x dash is equal to ct dash understand now assume this is 3 and this is what equation number 4 equation number 4 now what we have to do substitute 3 and 4 in equation 1 and 2 substitute 3 and 4 in equation 1 and 2 so what we get if you substitute equation 3 in equation 1 what we get there see here x dash equal to hmm, already we know that x dash is equal to ct dash ct dash that equal to k into in place of x we have to substitute ct minus vt so from this equation what we get there ct dash equal to take t common kt into c minus v and similarly similarly from equation 2 and 4 from equation 2 and 4 substitute in place of x ct so that is equal to k into k into in place of x dash you have to write ct dash plus 
vt dash take t dash common we'll get ct equal to k into t dash and c plus v okay we have equation 5 and this is what equation 6 okay very simple now let us multiply equation 5 and equation 6 equation 5 and equation 6 so what we get if we multiply equation 5 and equation 6 see there what we get there if we multiply these two equations we'll get c square t t dash on left hand side and the right side will get k square t t dash into c minus v into c plus v and let us cancel t d dash we'll get c square equal to k square into c square minus v square okay so we got there we got there c square equal to c square equal to hmm, c square equal to k square into c square minus v square from this one what what we get there k square equal to hmm, c square by c square by c square minus v square okay so from this one k equal to will get there hmm, k equal to c by c by under root under root 1 minus under root c square minus v square okay so let us send c uh, downwards then what we get there k equal to 1 by under root 1 minus v square by c square so this is what equation number 7 okay equation number 7 now substitute now substitute 7 in 1 7 in 1 so what we get there if we substitute 7 in 1 if we substitute 7 in 1 we'll get there x dash is equal to, we know that k into x minus vt right if we substitute k then we'll get x dash equal to and we'll get x minus vt by the root 1 minus v square by c square this is what x dash okay this is what x dash and uh, we know that uh, there is no change in y and z directions therefore we'll write y dash equal to y and z dash is equal to z but uh, there is a change takes place in time coordinates so here how can we write uh, time coordinates uh, let us take uh, here equation uh, this equation here uh, from this equation let us assume this is what equation number 8 okay for time coordinates let us take equation 8 and divide with c okay let us 8 by c do it there then what we get that that means we are dividing with light velocity right we are dividing with light velocity what we get there x dash by c that equal to x dash by t that c that equal to here it is x by c minus v by c into t by under root 1 minus v square by c square so here x dash by c from equation 4 we'll write here c dash t dash equal to from equation 3 we'll write x by c nothing but t minus so where v by c where v by c substitute where t value again so what we get if you substitute t value we'll get x by c then vx by c square we'll get vx by c square by under root 1 minus v square by c square okay this is what the time coordinates right time coordinates right so from these uh, equations let us write the low range transformations already we got there x dash is equal to x dash is equal to x minus vt by under root 1 minus v square by c square and uh, and y dash is equal to y and z dash is equal to z and what t dash equal to t dash equal to t minus vx by c square by under root 1 minus v square by c square these class these four last four transformation equations are called low range low range transformation equations transformation transformation 
equations low range transformation equations now so here one condition is there when when v is less than less than c when v is the particle velocity is less than less than the light velocity in that case low range transformations are reduced to galilean transformations here low range when v is less than less than c means when the particle velocity is smaller than the light velocity low range transformations are reduced to galilean transformations okay next point is inverse inverse low range transformations how can we write inverse low range transformations inverse low range transformations inverse low range low range transformations transformations inverse low range transformations see there how can we write uh, inverse low range transformations x is equal x dash plus vt by and by under root 1 minus v square by c square and y equal to y dash and z equal to z dash and here we'll write uh, uh, t equal to t dash plus v x dash by c square by under root 1 minus v square by c square these four laws are inverse low range inverse low range transformation equations inverse low range transformation equations okay so this is all about low range transformation equations now we proved that we now we proved that light velocity is also invariant okay light velocity also invariant so this is the topic of low range transformations